Okay. Why am I nervous to do this? I'm overwhelmed, actually. I think that's the right word. Hi, guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day for me. Maybe for you guys, too. It's been long awaited. You're probably like, Sarah, what's next to you? What is this? Is this new? Yeah, it's new. I filmed last week me redoing my bookshelf cubbies that I've had, reorganizing them because they were color coded and I was so over the color coding because I couldn't find any books. I couldn't put any books away. It was very pretty to look at, but the convenience of it wasn't there and I needed to switch it. I ended up doing that. I filmed the whole thing. I uploaded it and for my book club on Patreon, I do early access videos. So at the end of that video, I was like, okay, like I need help if you have any ideas of how to fix this. So I uploaded it to early access on patreon a few days before i was going to upload it on youtube and i got so much feedback on what i should do before i was going to upload that youtube video i'm buying a new shelf i'm thinking of all these different things i'm rearranging my room and i was like there's no reason for me to upload that video now like why would i upload that just to redo it again and film it again it's literally just me putting my books in different places and then realizing i don't have enough space so bestie Haley on there she literally i owe my whole room to her she's been helping me reorganize Find little decoration. She's helping me find ways to rearrange my bookshelves, make it look cute. She's a queen. Thank you, Haley. Like literally, thank you so much. I am so bad at organizing. I'm so bad at decorating things. Like I don't know, it doesn't look right in my head. Or I guess it could look right in my head, but then portraying it in real life, it does not work out. So she's been helping me so much. Into today's video, I'm gonna show you how I've rearranged my room. Don't know exactly if this is how I want it set up, but there's all my books in my shelves and stuff on top of it. So I have to take everything out and then we'll start from scratch. This is gonna be reorganizing my shelves, putting books into my shelves, decorating them. I went to Home Goods and Target today and I bought some cute little stuff. So we're gonna make this really, really cute. I'll show you it after I take all of my books out. I built this last night with my friend. We were going Bob the Builder on it. It took honestly not that long, but it was, it was, it was a lot, but I'm obsessed with it. So with all of this being said, I'm going to take everything out of my bookshelves. I have a lot of books already out of the shelves because I filmed a video. So that was, that was good that I did that already, but I'm going to take them out and then we're going to rearrange how I want the shelves to look and we'll do that together. And then we'll figure out how I want to set it up in the shelves. Are we on the same page? I think I've explained it kind of well. This is literally the highlight of my past week ish because i just all i've been thinking about are these shelves it's been consuming my mind how i should decorate them and everything so i'm very excited to see the final product it's gonna be a work in progress definitely but we're just gonna have it set up today i'm gonna see if i can make it look cute and that's all okay i'm gonna now take everything out of my shelves i'm not gonna rearrange the books in any order yet until we have the shelves set up in the area that i want shall we do that let's get into that okay <laughs> This is from Amazon. I was gonna get the Ikea one, but delivery was $100. And these are the two shelves that were on top of each other that were where my desk is now. Don't ignore, ignore this. But it was here, and then these were always under my TV. So I don't know if I wanna put them all in a corner, keep these here. I need to figure it out. This is the original setup of what I had first. Oh. Okay. Now I need to just figure out how I want to set these up. Also, here are all my books. This does not give you so much stress, overwhelmness. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna figure this out now. This is my next, my next thing on my list. I've made 
made progress. We've made progress because I've been texting or I've been messaging Haley this whole time and she has helped me. I've sent so many pictures to her. I just literally lifted all of these bookshelves a hundred times. This has been my workout for the day. Here's my setup right now. So I have the tall shelf and the little one here and then the normal ones under the TV. So this is my setup right now. That chair I was going to put in the corner but I move this around all the time. So this could literally be here for the day. It could be over there. Like I like to move that around based on where I want to sit and read or film a video. So I didn't want to put that in a specific spot. So you don't really have to look at the chair right now. That's there and that's there. And then I moved my nightstand and I'm going to put books next to my bed. I feel like that'd be so cute. So now this is my new little nightstand. And it's perfectly sized because the other dresser I had was so much taller than my bed. It looked very odd. And it also looks weird because there's no books in it. So ignore. I don't know what I'm doing with my dresser. Right now it's under my window. But we can figure out when I'm done with my books because this is so overwhelming. Now I think I need to separate all the books by genre, TBR, if I've read it or not. And after that, I'm going to separate it by like my pretty books. I want my pretty books in this tall book stand. I think that that's what I want to do. I want the books to look pretty. And I now understand why people buy the pretty covers of books because I used to say I don't need the new Addicted series covers. Like I don't need it. Like in my cubbies and my little shelves, I didn't really care. But like on this, when I put my Addicted series in, I want all the white books. So that's where I stand right now. But I'm going to go separate all these now. I'm going to figure out the layout more once I get all books in. I think, like I said, this tall bookshelf is going to be my like pretty series and just like pretty books. Next to my bed is going to be more of like an immediate TBR. I think that's fun. If I'm in bed and I want to choose a book, I don't know. That's just my thoughts right now. This bookshelf that's under my TV will be books that I have already read. And then I think the rest of my TBR will go in this little cubby under the window. So far, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but there's only one way to find out. Now let's go through every book that I own. I'm not going to name them off. I'm just going to separate them myself. I don't think, I don't know. Should I name off all my books? No, I can't do that. That's not today's video. Our next project. Let's separate all of these. you can even tell what pile is what and I'm not even gonna go through that. My favorite books, pretty covers, and then there's like a whole TBR section. I just said I wasn't gonna tell you what's what but now I am. Authors are together and then lots of TBR back there. I think I'm gonna tackle this now. I think this needs to be the first one I do. Actually, I think the first one I'm gonna do is my TBR. Now I'm gonna separate it by TBR that needs to be like put away. That does not go on these shelves but I can have like a clear vision of what I have left over to go on the really pretty big shelf because that's like gonna be my favorite part of my room. So it needs to be like pretty covers and stuff like that. So I'm going to now separate TBR. Technically is separated, but not very specifically. So I need to separate that. I'm gonna put like immediate TBR next to my bed and then the rest probably under the TV or in this shelf. I don't know yet, but we'll see. I'm gonna go separate it and then put my immediate back there. Sounds good, okay. or books that I'm hoping to read for videos or whatever are in that that shelf now like where do I go from here I don't know I think I'm gonna do these big shelves here
this is where I'm stumped. I know I want books I've read, series I've read that are pretty on the big shelf, but then what's left over, I don't know where to put them. I feel like I'm gonna have to do books I've read already under the TV because I feel like that has more space and I've read more books than I have TBR. I think. I'm just gonna have to do it and then show you guys what I've done because I can't really process what I want to do right now. I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out and then I'll update you. Okay. into these shelves. These are all done that I'll give a little tour after. This needs to be decorated now. I've left spaces open. I'll tell you what books are in here after we're done, but I'm gonna show you what I got from Target and Home Goods. And then I have like extra stuff that I've had already that we're gonna put on top of each shelf. And I think it's gonna look really cute. So let me show you what I got first. Also, it just started downpouring rain and the sun has gone. So that's why the lighting is just so bad right now, but it's okay. So I got two little vases. This is like a little clear one. And then I got a tan one and I got fake little lavender and flowers to put in it. I might have to trim them, but that's okay. So I have these two. I got a candle, just plain white candle. This little dish, I don't know if I'm gonna use this for where my skincare is. I kind of am over what's over there, but I don't know. Gold accents is what I'm going for. I got two gold picture frames because the disposables that Chris and I took for our anniversary in the city, I'm gonna put into these. All of these little decorations aren't just for this. I have all the other ones I need to put stuff on top of, so this is just everything I have. I got batteries because I have my fairy light but they've been dead for a while. And then I got a few plants. They're fake, but one is like a really long hanging one. One kind of like goes out a bit. And then I got this. I love this like so much. I don't know if it's gonna fit in here, but I might put it on top of something else, but I love this. I love those little feathers. They're cute. So I'm thinking this long plant like has to go with the top. Maybe I should take the tag off. Actually, I have to see if I like it first before I take tags off. I have that, but I don't... <laughs> I don't know how to decorate. I kind of like that one. That one's cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this gold plate. Actually, should I put a picture frame? Let's do a picture frame in here. Picture frame or gold plate? I kind of like the plate. And I could put that on top or this one. No, I like this one on top. Or a candle. I like a candle. Let's do a candle on top. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying things out. I think I'm gonna do a picture frame on top of that. And then maybe this is where I'll put this little hanging thing. It's kind of fun. I'm gonna put the clear one here. Maybe I'll put this somewhere else. I have my other bookshelves. Okay. I also have my Harry's house. I'm gonna put it towards the bottom. I also have this glass thing. This is literally from when I was a dancer. It's like a little scholarship award, but it's really cute because it's glass. But I might put it in one of the bookshelves over here. Wait. Wait, why is this so cute? My Kindle. Wait, why is that so cute? Hold on. I'm actually like low-key killing this. Let's try to put these in this thing. I think they're gonna be too tall. Wait, why is it really cute? Is this actually cute or am I thinking it is and it's not actually? Like that looks so silly. This one's too short, but I don't have scissors right now. Okay, I have my fairy lights that have been dead for, guys, I don't even know how long, since like Christmas time. Let's see how this looks. I don't know how I'm gonna put these on. Like should I go around it? You can't really see it, but that's okay. Let me get the pictures. Wait, why is it so cute? I think I'm doing something. I don't know how to open this. Oh, 
That was like way too easy. Uh oh. It has the home goods sticker on it. There's no way this is gonna come off nicely. I'll figure that out. Let's do this one. Cute. Okay, this is gonna go over here. Why did that kind of pop off? I also have these dogs. Let me put the light on. I don't know why I didn't decorate with the light on. I'm sorry that it's been pitch black this whole time. These I need to cut. Do you think I could just break them? Oh, I could just spend them. Oh! <gasps> Wait, that worked too well. Okay, are you guys ready to see what I've done? Why am I nervous? I feel like it looks silly now. This chair is a lot heavier and a lot bigger than it looks, I swear. Okay, why do I kind of love it? I'm officially done. I'm gonna give the tour tomorrow. For you, it's gonna be like 20 seconds because the lighting is bad and I want it to look cute when I show you guys, even though you've already seen me do it and majority of it. It's just, it's not cute with this lighting right now. Tomorrow, or in however long it's been, I'll be back to show you what it looks like in pretty daylight because right now I don't want to show you because it's raining and cloudy and not as cute, but I'm excited. I'm gonna like look at it all tonight and then fix it up if I want to change some stuff. So far so good. I'm literally sweating from doing this. I hope it turns out cute. So far it's cute like looking at my room but I'll show you tomorrow because I might make some changes throughout the night. I'm very happy that I did this. I will see you tomorrow with the final book tour bookshelves reveal. Hi guys. It's indeed the next wait has it been a day? No it's been two days and I have a funny little story to tell you because it's not that funny but I need to say it in a funny I need to preface it as a funny story or else I'll probably cry over it. Filmed all this and then remember when I said I'll show you guys tomorrow so that the lighting's better? Yeah, ended up a few hours later the sun came out. So I recorded it. I recorded my book tour. I recorded an outro. I recorded everything else. Earlier that same day I recorded another video and it was literally like an hour and a half of footage. And then yesterday I went to edit this video so that I could upload it today, which is Saturday. And I don't know, I edited up until the last clip you just saw. And then I plugged my SD card back in and couldn't read it was not working. So I asked some besties, they were helping me. I was trying to figure it out. I bought this software for like almost $100 to re-download lost videos and it did, but they're not in the right format, whatever. Not working out very well. So I don't have any of my videos and it's literally driving me insane. Anyway, funny story, right? It's all gone. So that's where we are today. I'm gonna re-show you the tour of the room, re-show you everything. It's not that big of a deal because I didn't have that many videos on there. It's just that one video I filmed that I said was over an hour worth of footage was a video that involved like almost all of my books and then my, all my books were all over my floor. I don't know if any of you saw my Instagram story of all those books on my floor, but it was for that video. And the thought of doing that again is really crushing me. But anyway, sob story over. It's probably my fault for not backing everything up somehow. I don't know, but it's a personal problem. I just needed to tell everyone. We'll let that one out because that's where we are today. Back to the tour. I hope you guys are excited. I've been living with this now for a couple of days and I'm obsessed with it. It's very early morning but like during the like late afternoon time when the sun's kind of going down I get the most beautiful lighting over here. I'm gonna show you the tour, how I set up all my books, what it looks like. I'm so excited. I think it is so pretty. So right when you walk in is my desk. I don't know why I'm giving a room tour right now but it's very messy. Ignore it. It does cover some of that so I might get a smaller desk one day but it's not my problem right now. This is all the books that I have read or majority of the books that I have read are in here. They do all fit like perfectly in these cubbies but there's some room in some to include more books if I have to like whatever there's room if I have to but it's getting full. Up here we have the rest of the Evicted series because they're not the new covers and I don't want them on my pretty shelf but I need to get the new ones I guess now that I have a pretty shelf. And then the off-campus series right next to it. It kind of goes by genre so here's some romance but with um like specific authors. We have Emily Henry, Mia Sheridan, Christina Lauren, and then Tessa Bailey. But kind of the rest of them I think they just looked good together so these are some romances on the top like the roughest draft better than the movie song of Achilles and then some not so many romances but then at the bottom we have a couple very interesting mix of genres here and mix of books but I like the way that they look together okay same thing with over here majority are romance except bunny is in there but I have twisted love and then how to love your neighbor and then the rest are just random romances um and then the confidence of wildflowers to wear is also in there oh and the summer turn pretty series also in there here is the most random a mix of books but I had nowhere to put the inheritance games and it was just these four and they looked really pretty together but now I have the inheritance games under it and it looks silly but we're just gonna have to roll with it for now so again inheritance games and then some of my favorite romances ever are above that these ones I love this cubby I think it is so cute again it's mostly romances but I have virgin suicides is in there Daisy Jones and the six whatever but they look pretty together so I love this one and then we have more series of the cruel prince girl girl's guide to murder and then dance and vow of thieves 
Here is my Ellen Hildebrand, literally like her shrine of books, but I also included Leanne Moriarty in there because her books have the same vibe. Yeah, that's her little section. Down here are my hardcover books and then Binding and Keeping 13. There's only one mystery thriller and then the rest are romance and then, like I said, Binding and Keeping 13. Here is Kingdom of the Wicked. I have the third one, but I am gonna start it soon, so I took it out, but that was on the very bottom because it's a hardcover. Then I have the Entangled with Faye series. I need to get the fourth one. Well, technically it's the first one, but I need to get that so I can include it in my little series. And then Divergent is on the top. Here is my mystery slash thriller section or more of them. This is my Alice Feeney books and then Alex Michaelides and then Lucy Foley. And then here are just random books to be honest. It's mostly thriller mysteries and then fantasy. And then else here I put a little picture frame of Chris and I and then the little flowers, the lavender things. I think it's so cute. Over here, these have always been here, but it's just a sugar cookie candle, Christmas cookie or something, and my plaque. That is this section. On to my favorite part of my room. Okay, so I put the fairy lights, as we know, all around it. You can't really see right now, but it's so pretty at night. Up here we have the Addictive. They're like the prettiest books I own. Like I said, I need to get the rest of the Addictive, the Calorie Sisters books and the white covers. I never wanted them until now because I just never really needed or thought to get the pretty covers. I was like, I don't need them. Now I do. And then here are my Magnolia Parks book, my favorite world ever, I think. Then over here we have Love and Other Words. I have both of the covers and I actually ordered the new one that's coming out, like the, I don't know if it's like special edition. I don't know what kind of edition it is, but Elliot's point of view, it's hardcover. I don't know when that comes, but I did order it. So that will be there as well. Then I put here the plate, the candle. I have a little hair clip there as well. And then rings. I think it's really cute. And then over here, these are all just like pretty covers. I remember when I had my, my cubby shelves color coded. This was my favorite kind of layout were these book covers. And I think it's so pretty on top of each other. Really pretty. Down here, we have the plant, and then I have the Brutal Print series. I need to get the rest, but I think the covers are just so pretty. The white and the, I don't know. I love it. I love the, the aesthetic of these covers. And then picture of me and Chris, and I put this little lavender there. Okay, going further down, we have the fine print. I have all three. They don't match up, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. I still think it looks really cute, but I need to read the final offer still. And then we have the Akatar series. I don't have the last one right now in there because I am currently reading it actually just started it but i feel like they needed their own spot and then here are shadow me series one of my favorites i that's definitely not the order of them i kind of just put them in there and then my harry's house and six of crows duet my favorite books in the entire world and then of course i needed to have a lucy score spot so those are all the books of hers that i own right now i have to read maggie moves on but the rest i have read and there's a lot of space in between all of these because i'm going to be reading more books and adding more books and i didn't want to cover everything up so quickly and then right next to it is my tbr shelf or tbr our cubby so you can't all see because it's right next to the window but on top of it i have my little pleasing journal and then my harry book and then a candle from dossier and then on this side i have my planners my journals and then my book of the month for our book club on top because i am still reading that and then i just have like my pens and blue light glasses on top of there as we read for our book club i want to have a little shelf for all the books we've read so our first book is right there it has not been finished yet these are mostly romances actually i think these are all romances except i don't know why the maze runner is in here we're gonna ignore that but that's this cubby and then down here are more romances i have to read i tried to like color code them not really but like put covers that i think or spines i think looked better next to each other and then here are mysteries slash thrillers that i need to read and then i have so many colleen books that i just needed to put them somewhere i was gonna put them on my shelf but i'm still thinking about it probably when i get more tbr books i'll switch it up and put these on my shelf but for right now they are in a cubby i don't know really what i want to do with them yet because i have so many of them and i feel like they could go on here but not yet i don't know so that is is this section. Right next to my bed is my more immediate TBR. This is the top. I put the little feather and the scholarship thing. I have my basket and then my current reads and then here it is. So in here we have mystery thrillers and then on the end we have Jeanette McCurdy's book. I don't understand why I put it there. I honestly think it's because the yellows matched and I also have Invisible Life at Rue on there. It just matched. I don't think it's a mystery thriller. I think it's just literary fiction. Honestly not sure. It might be fantasy. Who knows? That's in there. Down here I'm pretty sure are all romances except I don't know. I think stalking jack the ripper all the way on the bottom it's not a romance but i thought they all looked better together the more darker covers ish i don't know this made sense to me in my head then here are all of my fantasies that i need to read except all the way on the left cleopatra and frankenstein is a literary fiction but it just matched it made sense to put it there actually holding up the universe is absolutely not a fantasy not sure why it's there i think because it didn't fit up there so ignore me there but yeah here are all the romances on my tbr and these are all the ones next to my cubby i love having this next to my bed it's just really cute i love it so 
much. And then the dresser that was there is right here. On top of it is just my dossier perfumes and my sunglasses. I think it looks fine under the window for now. This is my new and approved room. I love it. It actually makes me so happy that my or I have like a bookshelf that's pretty and it's like all set up really nicely, at least for me right now. Because before my cubbies and my shelves were just places to store my books. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was like cute for my room. I just needed them to put my books away. But now that I have this, it just feels good. Like I have a little reading corner. I don't know. I love it so much. I will say this is a work in progress. So what you've seen in this video will definitely change over time. If anyone who's helped me with this, like thank you because... I needed the help. Let me know if you have any more opinions on what it looks like now, how I should change it up because I'm all up for opinions. I am gonna say that wire holds my LED lights on the top of my room and I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get a lamp. I'm gonna make it more vibey in here, but the LEDs are just like, that wire bothers me and just if I put a cover on it, I think it'll still bother me. So we're ignoring that. I'm getting rid of it. And then my TV wires, if you saw, there's two of them. I'm gonna cover those with wire covers. But yeah, like I said, I wanna get like a tall gold lamp. I think that'd be so cute in the little corner. I love it so much. This is literally, have become my pride and joy like i get so excited to turn on these fairy lights in the morning and just like sit here i've only had it for two days but you know it's been a really fun two days aside from my sd card thing happening it's been really really fun yeah i hope you guys like it that's really all for me i am so happy with it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know if you did let me know your opinions your thoughts and i will see you hopefully in the next one bye